I'm thrilled to be able to give greetings on behalf of the five colleges in celebration of Jonathan's inauguration, for I have a deep and abiding personal tie to this extraordinary community. My first exposure to Hampshire College was as a Mount Holyoke student in the late 70s and early 80s. I took a five colleges course comparing the works of Frederick Douglass, St. Augustine, and the Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> that was team taught by faculty members from Hampshire, Mount Holyoke, and Smith, and held on each of the three campuses. I loved the intellectual and creative vibrancy of the Hampshire faculty and students, and the challenge Hampshire presented to each of us to embrace the college's motto that to know is not enough. When my sister was applying to colleges a decade later, I convinced her to defer her admission to the Art Institute of Chicago to come to Hampshire, where I knew that she would receive the grounding in liberal learning that would enhance and inform in unique ways her work as an artist. Another decade later, my son Spencer refused to apply anywhere other than Hampshire, <laughs> convinced that he would find a natural home here as someone with a passion for Africana studies, voice, and theater. Indeed, as he gets ready to graduate in a few weeks, Hampshire has provided for him all that one could hope for by offering lifelong mentors and friends, along with the preparation he will need to excel in graduate school and beyond. The common experience my family members and I have shared at Hampshire across the decades was highlighted for me during the Presidential Lecture Series event on Rethinking the Human Prospect, held here in February. My colleague Chris Benfey took the stage with documentary filmmaker Ken Burns and Harvard scholar Eva Blau. Their conversation unveiled the complexities of teaching and learning in a world in which students are increasingly encouraged to engage in research, while often lacking the tools and space necessary to engage in the search. It is this very act of inspiring students to engage in the search that a Hampshire education is all about. Since his arrival, Jonathan has enthusiastically fostered and facilitated community conversations around the question, if Hampshire didn't exist today, why would we need to create it? So I asked my colleagues in the Valley the same question. If Hampshire didn't exist, why would the other four colleges need to create it? The first response I received was from one of my presidential colleagues who cried, well, how could we be the characters in Scooby-Doo without Shaggy? It's true. <laughs> but the most consistent and resounding response I heard centered around the sentiment that Hampshire stands as our most visible representative of the coherence of creativity, inventiveness, and scholarship each of us within the five colleges hopes will be engendered in every one of our students. And Jonathan Lash is the perfect person to lead this remarkable institution, for he embodies and lives his life in a manner that truly reflects his and the college's shared mission and values. Jonathan is a shining example of someone who has had the courage and commitment to be an innovator in his own life and who inspires those around him to do the same. If we didn't have Hampshire College today, one of the most compelling reasons we would need to create the college would be to have the honor and privilege of working with and learning from such a passionate and dedicated leader as Jonathan Lash. Thank you.